We're back with Democratic Senator Ed Markey uh, following the fallout from the president's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. Uh, Senator, at the White House press briefing, uh, the EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt, the press secretary Sean Spicer, they joined a long list now of Trump administration officials who can't seem to answer a simple question. Does the president still believe climate change is a hoax? You remember, uh, he's tweeted uh, back in 2012, he tweeted, the concept of global warming was created by and for the Chinese in order to make U.S. manufacturing non-competitive. Uh, a year later, he tweeted, ice storms roll from Texas to Tennessee. I'm in Los Angeles, and it's freezing. Global warming is a total and very expensive hoax. Uh, so why can't these officials now answer the simple question, does the president still believe what he tweeted back then? Because Donald Trump's climate science is as bogus as a degree from Trump University, which is where I think he's getting his climate science from. Uh, and he basically has decided he's going to honor his pledge to 70,000 coal miners in our country uh, and break the pledge the United States made to the world and break the pledge which this generation of Americans should keep to every subsequent generation's uh, a generation of Americans to avoid the most catastrophic consequences uh, of uh, climate change. And so he's just listening to Steve Bannon, to the climate deniers, uh, and trying to uh, make his base be happy, even if the National Academy of Sciences of every single country in the world has uh, concluded that science uh, of climate change is absolutely and totally non-debatable uh, with regard to it. Uh, ex accelerating and as by human activity. The uh, president, uh, he's receiving, as you know, uh, a lot of fierce blowback from leaders around the world, including very close allies for this decision to pull out of the Paris Climate Agreement. I want you to listen to this. This is the new president of France, Emmanuel Macron. Because wherever we live, whoever we are, we all share the same responsibility make our planet great again. All right, so you just heard him co-opt the president's campaign slogan. Uh, so is the decision to pull out of the Paris Agreement a major blow to America's standing out there on the world stage when you have these allies very, very critical of the U.S. decision? Yes, it, it completely undermines our credibility as a global leader. Uh, it is an abdication of American economic opportunity, of our national security interests, of the public health implications of sending all of this additional pollution up into the air that leads to asthma, uh, heart disease, uh, and it's a moral failure. Pope Francis asked him uh, to be the leader, to step up. Uh, and as the chairman of the Climate uh, uh, Change Committee in the House of Representatives for four years, I chaired 100 hearings on this subject. Uh, and across the world, from Ban Ki-moon to the Prime Minister of Sweden, who testified uh, before the committee, there was a unanimity of opinion uh, that this was real, it would be catastrophic, but it would also offer tremendous economic opportunity to create millions of jobs in our country. And what the president has decided to do is to cede that leadership to China, to France, to Germany, uh, who will be now much more likely to reap the economic benefits of a revolution which is just going to continue unabated with the United States on the sidelines. Senator Markey, thanks for joining us.